In this question, two equally skilled basketball teams are scheduled to play each other three times in a season. Assume each team is equally likely to win each game, that there are no ties, and that the outcome of each game does not impact the other games. The teams are named the Astronauts and the Bears. First, we are asked to list the sample space for the outcome of one game. For one game, there are only two outcomes. Either the Astronauts win, or the Bears win. So we can say that there are two outcomes, and we can put them inside of a pair of brackets. We can say if the astronauts win, let's call that A, and if the bears win, we call that B. So the sample space would be A or B. Now that's the case if there's only one game. If there are multiple games, we'll need to draw ourselves a little picture to be able to figure out what the sample space is. In the first game, the astronauts or the bears could win. But now we're going to play another game and it's going to split again into two pieces. The astronauts or the bears could win the second game. And now for the A and the B that we just drew, we have to draw a third game. For each of them, the astronauts or the bears could win. Now we've just completed the picture for A. We do the same thing for B. If the bears win, we split into two pieces, and then we split again into two more pieces to show the third game. All right, so now to list the sample spaces, let's begin starting at the top and let's follow the trail we've made. So start at this point and follow the trail, A first, and we'll just keep going upward every time. So you can see the blue line I've drawn crosses one, two, three A's in a row. So we can say part of our sample space will be A, A, A. So that means that the astronauts win three in a row. Now, what if we had followed the first two A's, but then turned downward at the third game and reached B instead. This would bring us the path A, A, B. So in this case, the astronauts win two games and the bears win one game. Now let's take a slightly different pathway. I'll draw a yellow line now cross the first A, but now hey, let's go downward to B. And then from that B, we could go to A or B, but let's go to the top first. So this yellow path leads to A, B, A. Can you see that again, the astronauts win two games? Now, if we had turned down, it would go A, B, B. In this case, the astronauts only win one game and the bears win two games. So now we've listed the sample space for the top part of this picture. Now let's go downward. So if we start at the point and hit B, let's start by going upward a, and then A again, we'll have B, A, A. Meaning, again, the astronauts win two games because we have two A's. Now, we could go B, A, B also, leaving the astronauts with only one win. And then, if we change our pathway again, we can go B, B, a, again giving us one win for the astronauts, and of course we could go B, 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 meaning that the astronauts don't win any. So this entire list is your sample space. Now. In order to find the probability that the astronauts win all three games, we have to count the outcomes.
in the sample space. So we can count this and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight members in the sample space. And in those eight members, there's only one where the astronauts win three in a row. And that's the top option. So we'll say that there is one where the astronauts win three in a row. And so to calculate the probability, we can take the correct parts, that is the parts that match the problem, divided by the total number of members in the sample space. So we can say there's one match over eight members in the space. That means our probability is one eighth. We can do this again for part D. We are asked, what is the probability that the astronauts will win exactly one game? Well, once again, we still have eight members. And in those eight members, let's count how many where the astronauts win one game. And we see one here, another here, and another here. So there are three that match the description. So because there are three that match the description, we can say our probability is the number of matches divided by the total members in the sample space. We'll say three matches divided by eight members. And we can say that the probability is three eighths. Now, part E asks, what is the probability that the astronauts lose all three games? Well, once again, let's write down that we still have eight members. And we only have one place where the astronauts lose all three games, and that's this one at the bottom, where we have BBB. On all the other ones, the astronauts haven't lost all three games. Once again, let's take our matches. That's only one. Divide by 8. That's the number of members, so 1 8th. For part F, what is the probability that the astronauts win at least one game? So, can you see that we have, most of the time, the astronauts will win at least one game. The only time when they don't is BBB. So now, here's what we can do. We can say that our probability of winning at least one game we can say it is 1 minus the probability of winning no games. Now that is going to be 1 minus 1 eighth. Now to calculate the actual answers in decimal form, we can simply use Excel. We'll make some room down at the bottom and we'll type them. Question C gave us an answer of 1 over 8, so we'll type equals 1 divide 8. When we press enter, we get 0 0.125. For problem D, we'll have 3 over 8, so we'll say equals 3 divide 8. Press enter, and we get 0 0.375. Now for part E, we'll have again 1 over 8, and we'll say equals 1 divide 8. And for part F, We'll have equals 1 subtract 1 over 8. You can enter all this in the same line in Excel, and Excel will know how to handle it. We press enter and we get 0.875. These will be our probabilities for parts C through F.